In this episode of Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, we descend into one of the premier canyons of Colorado National Monument with breathtaking views of red rock cliffs, dramatic gorges, towering sandstone monoliths, and colorful wildlife. Come along and join us as we explore the Upper Monument Canyon. Hey fellow expeditionists, we're in Colorado National Monument. We're hiking the Upper Monument Canyon Trail. Separating Colorado National Monument's Wedding Canyon and Monument Canyon sits the park's most iconic monolith, Independence Monument. There are two trailheads to reach this monument, from the Lower Monument Canyon Trail or from the Upper Monument Canyon Trail. We chose to descend into the canyon from the upper trailhead, as this route has the most dramatic scenery, passes more monoliths, and drops 600 feet from the canyon rim through a series of switchbacks, while passing through layers of sedimentary rock spanning over 50 million years of Earth's history. The whole idea of this hike today was we really wanted to see the bottoms of the canyon and what kind of ecosystems it has. But uh, I am thoroughly enjoying just the climb down. It's a lot of fun coming down these uh, canyon walls and all those views. These rock formations are known as the Coke ovens as they resemble the beehive shaped man-made ovens once used to convert coal into industrial fuel known as coke back in the early 20th century. It's a lot of red rock, isn't it, catfish? Yep. Well, it looks like we made it to the base of the canyon. The trail goes up this way. We had to stop and break out the sun protection. It's just partly cloudy today, but we got burnt the other day climbing a mountain. <laughs> so best to protect ourselves and be proactive. There are nine species of lizards that live in the monument, of which we spotted three or four that we know of. The American West is a treasure trove for herping. The sandstone pillar ahead of us is known as the Kissing Couple, named so because it resembles an embracing couple. It stands 400 feet tall above the canyon floor.
That one came towards you. That was probably the coolest lizards I've ever seen. How about you, catfish? Agreed. Yeah, those things are so colorful. I didn't expect to see that kind out here. I thought they were a little more elusive, but you just gotta be there at the right time, don't you? Yep. Straight ahead of us is our destination the iconic Independence Monument, standing 450 feet tall. It is also a popular climbing destination, though I think we'll keep our feet firmly on the ground. Well, we have arrived at Independence Monument. All right, I got my camera on super view so we can get most of this in the scene. So obviously I'm right below Independence Monument. But at one time, this connected to that as well as connected to that and formed one long wall. And over time, parts of that wall has crumbled, leaving these monuments. Well, all right, we are sitting on the saddle right now between the monuments. And uh, we decided this is probably about as far as our hike is gonna take us today. We got here, we got to see what we wanted, got to see some wildlife that we didn't expect. Uh, been a great experience, you know. We wanted to get out into some different kind of uh, ecosystems and habitats, and boy, did we, huh? Yes, we did. Yep. Right now, I think we're just gonna take a little break, maybe have us some lunch, these views right here, before heading back. That little outlook right there is where Catfish and I sat last evening and then this morning for the sunrise. Well, having lunch among the monuments was pretty badass. Time for us to start making the trek back. So I believe that rock slide up there on the side of the canyon is our route outside to get back to the top. Well, the climb has begun. Almost there. All right, so that is the Upper Monument Canyon Trail. That was awesome. It was something completely different than what we're used to in the Midwest, which is exactly what we were looking for. Catfish, got any thoughts? Those buffets was very cool. We saw lots of lizards down there, including some 
the bluest ones we've ever seen. The collared lizards. Exactly. Yeah, those were neat. That was, did not expect that. And wow, that, uh, made, that made the whole hike worth it right there, just getting to see those things. Yeah, and all the rock formations, just, just gorgeous, just a, a cool experience, wasn't it? Yes. All right, well, and remember, if you do come to something like this, bring plenty of water and plenty of sunscreen because you're going to need it. And it's, uh, it's pretty hot out here in the desert. <laughs> all right, on to our next adventure. Till then, peace, peace out. out.